five months, two weeks, two days. My loving baby's been gone five months, two weeks, two days. My loving baby's been gone. If you see my baby, please send her home for me. Hurry, oh, home, oh, baby. Hurry, oh, home, oh, baby. The swimsuit competition is probably the most honest part of the competition because it really is about bodies. It is about looking at women as objects. That's what it's about. The fact is that the most disqualifying part of the competition is how you look. When you see their bodies, it's so interesting because they seem so not real. You don't see anything off. They are so perfect and not sexual, really. You just kind of these perfectly shaped women that their bodies are very smooth. There's no creases or lines. There's no stretch marks or nipples or hair. It, it's kind of jarring. You think, God, whose body is like that? And then you think, oh, maybe I'm not the woman. Maybe they're the women and I'm not the woman. And then you kind of feel like an imposter, too. It's always so sort of heartbreaking to watch the swimsuit competition because these, these good girls, they sort of like, oh, I'm such a piece of meat or something, you know? Of all the parts of the pageant that I feel victimize women the most, it's that part of the pageant. These poor girls in those painful looking high heels, my heart goes out to them. But, you know, honestly, if you have to wear a swimsuit and you have to parade, good. You should wear the high heels because there's nothing better on your leg than a high heel. <laughs> I worked so hard to be ready to compete in swimsuit that I didn't dread it. You know, I actually found it kind of empowering because I figured that once I could get over enough issues to walk around on the stage in a bathing suit in front of 20 million people, I could pretty much do anything I wanted to. Mm -hmm.